Good day, one more fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Sydney International Airport. Today I'm going to fly China Southern A350 from here to Guangzhou. It's my first time flying China Southern, so it's going to be interesting and I'm intrigued to find out what they're like. Now, without further ado, let's go in and check in with China Southern. Sydney International Airport is hustling and bustling this morning. I just got dropped off by six foot four and we were stuck in the traffic at the drop off for five minutes. It's currently the peak hour for departures to America and Asia. China Southern has three daily flights from Sydney to China. A day flight to Guangzhou, the one we're catching, a second daily Red Eye Guangzhou, and they've also got a Shenzhen daily. The Guangzhou flights are currently operated by the Airbus A350. Before and even during the pandemic, they used the A380. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. China Southern has retired all A380. So I'm checked in all the way to Guangzhou and I just cleared security and immigration. Wasn't too bad this morning. Um, so at check-in, the agent asked if I was happy with my seat selection online. I was like, yeah. She was like, are you sure you don't want a better seat? So I went with it. She got me 52A, which is one of the two window seats on the A350 with direct IO access. And although the airline China Southern left Sky Team back in 2019, they still recognize your Sky Team status if you've got one, because they're not joining One World just yet. So today, with my Delta Gold, I got Plaza Premium. Plaza Premium is a third-party lounge. If you don't get access from your airline, you can also walk in or use Priority Pass. If you don't already have a Priority Pass, you can check out my affiliate link for Priority Pass. It's in the description down below, and every time you make a purchase through any of the links, I earn a small commission, and that goes towards my future flights and trip reports. The Plaza Premium in Sydney is pretty average. First, it's really tiny. You'll see a bar as you walk in, and then there's only about 20 to 30 seats. Here's the buffet, I'll show you the food in a second. And on your left, there's a male and a female toilet. No shower here, and no wheelchair friendly toilets. And when it's busy, you might have to line up for the toilet. If the person in front of you did a number two, you might be better off to use the toilets outside. Now for the buffet, it's predominantly Western. Scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages, baked beans and potatoes. For the cold selection, you've got fruit, salad, cheese and yogurt. There's an espresso machine at the bar. No barista coffee, unfortunately. I wanted a glass of mimosa and the staff said, and I quote, we've got a shortage of juice. So plain sparkling wine it is. For coffee, tea and cereal, there's only full cream milk, no lactose free or plant-based ones. So nothing too special about the Plaza Premium, but what I did like about it was the view over the tarmac. So before long, we should head to our gate number 51. It's about a 10 minute walk. I saw my aircraft on my way there. It's a four year old, China Southern Airbus A350-900 Bravo 308 Tangle. It's China Southern's first ever A350. On my boarding pass, it clearly says boarding starts at 9.50. I got there about 9.45 and the crew are still waiting there, so there's going to be a huge delay. What annoyed me was that the airport display says go to gate. It didn't notify us about the one hour delay. If I knew, I would have sat in the lounge longer. He just told us about the delay, and boarding will begin in 45 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Welcome on board China Southern A350. They are 28 business class, 24 premium economy, and 262 economy seats on board. My seat today, 52A, a window seat with direct IO access and extra legroom. Row 52 is the second row in this cabin, but for 52A and K, there's a missing seat in front of you, hence the extra legroom and direct IO access. And because it's officially an extra legroom seat, the crew will go through a safety briefing with you one on one. Now, I want to show you the seat features for your regular economy seat. So a touchscreen TV with a USB port and headphone jack. You can store literature underneath the TV. Tray table is pretty standard, you can fold it in half and move it back and forth. Here's the seat pocket with your magazine and safety card. Two extra pouches for your personal items. Leg room is pretty good, about 32 inches. Every economy seat has a soft adjustable headrest. The headrest cover is a bit flimsy, it feels like a hard paper. On this long haul flight, they provide you with pillow, blanket and headphones. Unfortunately for this extra legroom seat, there's no coat hook. 
今天由于飞机晚到，造成延误，耽误了您的宝贵时间，对此我们深表歉意。现在，请您观看安全演示录像。女士们、先生们，中国南方航空公司欢迎您，请妥善保管手机等电子设备。The cabin crew started their service half an hour after takeoff. They're currently doing a beverage run, I got a hot tea, and a disposable wet towel. Also on offer is coffee, soft drinks, juice, red wine, white wine, and Chinese beer. The meal service followed after. First came the special meal. I pre-ordered this vegetarian oriental meal. The passenger next to me ordered a vegan meal and she got the exact same thing. For starter, there's fruit and grain salad, bread and butter. For regular meals, you get the exact same starter. It's just the main course that's different. For my main course, it's a Sichuan tofu rice and vegetables. For regular meals, you get chicken rice or beef noodles. And again, the exact same entrees. Sichuan food is usually really spicy, but fortunately this one, it's guaylo friendly. I can't eat spicy food at all. I think I might be allergic to it even. So this is great. Overall, it was a good lunch, a very flavorful meal. I really liked the grain salad as well. It tasted really fresh. The crew also just did a second beverage run, and that concludes the first meal service. The second meal will be served before landing, another four and a half hours before it happens. The cabin crew just switched off the cabin lights so people can go to sleep, but some people decided to leave the window blinds open, so the cabin was actually still really bright. Luckily for me, I came prepared. I brought along my Manta sleep mask. For regular viewers, you will have noticed that I always wear them on overnight flights. It's a must for me. They've got several types of sleep masks, and the best thing is, even the cheapest one blocks out 100% of light, and I'm not even joking or exaggerating. You can easily adjust the eye cups to your eye position. That way, it doesn't matter if your face is big or small, it guarantees that it'll block out all the light. All the cups are really soft, it gives zero pressure, and it doesn't touch your eyelids and lashes. Get your own Manta sleep mask today and get 10% off using my special affiliate link in the description down below. Your non-existent jet lag will thank me later. Now I want to go through your in-flight entertainment. In your seat pocket, you'll find your magazine. Everything is in simplified Chinese, there's no English articles. For the TV, you've got a good selection of movies, probably the best on offer by a mainland Chinese carrier. Most of the movies are Chinese or Hollywood, a few Indian and European ones. Flight map is interactive, you can zoom in and zoom out to wherever you want. There are three external cameras on board. There's one at the belly facing downwards, there's one at the front of the aircraft facing forward, and finally there's this one at the tail facing forward. 
Hello there, the meal service is now over. I'm going to show you the lavatory in economy class. Um, the surface and stuff looks quite clean, but unfortunately the floor, it's a bit trashed and weed. Space, it's okay. We've got two coat hooks. And some aroma papers, paper cups and tissues. Eventually the lavatory got so trashed, the cabin crew locked it for the rest of the flight. It really was so dirty that they couldn't clean them. And I don't blame the crew at all. I placed my carry-on right in front of me, and it became my footstool for the flight. It's almost like sitting at a lounge chair. It's so comfy. The crew switched on the lights about three hours before landing. They first started to give everyone a hot towel, which is always a very nice touch in economy class. And then they did a beverage run, just like the first meal service. And again I got a hot tea. Hot meals followed after. For your regular options, it was like the first meal, but they switched the carbs around. For lunch, it was chicken rice and beef noodles. For dinner, it's beef, rice and chicken noodles. And here comes my vegetarian oriental meal. Pretty much the same starter again. Fruit, salad bowl and bread and butter. But this time the salad is more green based and leafy. For main course, it's a nasi goreng, which means fried rice in Indonesian and Malaysian. On the top, we've got some dried onions. And for protein, it's once again tofu. We've got a bit of chili, but it wasn't too bad. For both lunch and dinner, there wasn't any dessert. Ladies and gentlemen, our aircraft shifted around in Guangzhou at 6.30 p.m. The ground temperature in Guangzhou is 32 degrees Celsius or 19 degrees Fahrenheit. We will begin our final descent. The afters will be suspended in 10 minutes. If you have plenty of flight after this vacation, please follow the trust instruction to connect to your next flight or contact any of our ground staff. Thank you. 这里在广州一切顺利 We've started our descent into Guangzhou by Yun Airport and I'll quickly conclude my first ever trip with China Southern right here right now Our journey today started at Sydney International Terminal Check-in was quick and easy The staff understood the rules and they fully recognised my Delta status For lounge, China Southern uses the Plaza Premium at Sydney Airport it's not the best lounge at Sydney. I suppose it's better than not having a lounge. They didn't have any juice, there's no shower, and for an Australian lounge, you would expect a barista made coffee. I was very disappointed by the delay management. I've said this many, many times. I understood that delay can happen, and safety first, but it's about how the staff handle it. There wasn't any delay announcement until 10 minutes past the official boarding time. The airport flight display also didn't show a delay. So for a full flight like this one, you had 300 people congregating around the gate area. You had people lining up for nothing, which seems stupid, but there weren't enough seats. Things got better on board. I got the extra legroom seat, which is so much appreciated. I made myself a little lounge chair. The food on board was really good. Of all the plant-based meals I've had on flights departing Australia, those two were the best I've ever had. It's worth noting they don't serve dessert, when competing airlines like Cathay and Qantas serve ice cream or icy pops. Our cabin crew today were really professional, and service was really efficient on this full economy flight. There was not a single vacancy in economy. So overall today I was really satisfied, except for the delay bit. For your information, today I paid $390 for this one-way trip from Sydney to Harbin via Guangzhou. My connecting flight is tomorrow, so today I'm overnighting in Guangzhou. Usually, China Southern give you a free hotel stay if your connection is overnight and they're within the same ticket. However, there is an exception, and that's when you book a very cheap fare. I've actually done my calculation. I booked Hilton Garden Inn at Guangzhou Airport for 80 Australian dollars. A more expensive air ticket, which also means a more flexible one, costs more than 80 dollars, so I decided to go with a cheaper airfare. That way I know what hotel I'm staying at and because I've got Hilton Honors Diamond I know that I'm going to earn my Hilton points and I'll get free breakfast tomorrow. After landing, I'll show you the process for entering China and the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be landing shortly. Please make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened, your devices, your front modes are pulled off. Thank you. Cabin crew, please prepare for landing. So we're landing now, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your viewership and subscription. For those watching my video for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button. I upload a new trip report every single Thursday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. You can also follow me on my social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. On Instagram, I post stories every time I fly so you know where I am. On Snapchat, I post stories as I travel. 
at my destination. For those who really like my videos and want to support me further, you can check out my PayPal me and Patreon site. I've got the links in the description down below if you're interested. So that's it I've got to say today, thanks again for watching. Be sure to keep watching until landing and disembarking where I'll show you the immigration process into China and I'll show you the Hilton Garden Inn at Bayun Airport. See you later, bye bye. We disembarked at a remote stand so we had to take a bus to Terminal 2. When you enter and leave China, you need to fill in an online declaration form and obtain a QR code. When I filmed this video on the 28th of August 2023, there was a mandatory COVID-19 test for entering China. You could do this at home with your rapid antigen test and it was just a self-declaration, no one really checked your result and I bet many people didn't do it. On the 30th of August 2023, China dropped all COVID-19 entry requirement. No more tests and no more face mask. But you'll still need to do that declaration form. I just went through immigration and got my baggage. And then I got on the free shuttle bus to Hilton Garden Inn. Hello there, welcome to Hilton Garden Inn at Guangzhou Bayou Airport. This hotel is less than a week old. It opened on the 22nd of August, it's currently 28th. So it smells like paint still, it smells like cancer, but ugh. Oh. It's only one night, so I can get over it. The staff is so nice. They got my bags up to my room. You've got the bathroom. Oh, it's cool. So you've got the toilet. You've got a glass separating the shower space. They use, what brand is this? Peter Thomas Roth. Don't know what that is. I'll investigate that later. You've got luggage rack. Slippers, 
weight scale, wardrobe, the sink. The room is massive, oh my god, really happy with this. I paid less than 400 Chinese yuan, so I think that's about, I don't know, 80 Australian dollars, 50 USD for this massive room with free shuttle bus to the airport. Room views, we're just facing at another hotel. I did get an upgrade by the way, from King Guest Room to King Deluxe Room. Room upgrade is not an official benefit for gold and diamond members staying at Hilton Garden Inn. But it's always appreciated when individual Garden Inn upgrade Hilton members. I'm now on the phone with the reception because I'm hungry. I want to get some dinner. I just looked at the menu. Everything is meat based. So I'm going to break my diet. I'm ordering a char kway teow or beef hall fun. Local Guangzhou people would be able to speak Cantonese. But it's one of those cities where everyone comes from everywhere. In fact, the check-in person told me that he's the only real local here, and none of his colleagues speak Cantonese. He was the only one who could speak Cantonese with me. The person on the phone just now spoke Mandarin with me, which is my third language, and I always sound stupid when I speak Mandarin. By the way, that cha kway teow was really delicious. Now it's already day two. I woke up at 6am on the dot. At 6.20, I checked out, and I went to breakfast. The shuttle bus runs every hour, so I'm catching the 7am service. My flight departs at 8.20. So I'm gonna make it to check in one hour before departure. The breakfast is pretty good by the way. You've got western and Chinese food. You can order eggs the way you like it and noodles as well. I like the range of dim sums they've got here. A very authentic Cantonese cuisine. And before I know it, I'm on my way to Guangzhou Terminal 2 again. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll do a separate flight report for my flight to Harbin. And that's operated by China 7787 Dreamliner. So again, make sure that you've subscribed and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on that true report. A big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me supporters for their continuous support. Cheers and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.